Jack and Daxter really kind of came out of a, a culmination of a series of brainstormings with a number of people trying to think about how we were going to make an action hero who was a little more accessible and a world that was much bigger than you'd seen before. We wanted to focus on the uh, speed, action, and, and insane intensity that you get from an arcade racer. We wanted to include uh, the customization and personalization you get with a racing sim. We wanted to have the over-the-top carnage and wreckage that you get from a vehicular combat game, and then we wanted to tie that all up in the Jack and Dexter universe. That's Jack X. We've got an amazing team of animators who come from all over, both from the video games industry and from the feature film industry. They just do a mind-blowing job in bringing the characters to life. We hired a student right out of uh, Pasadena Art Center um, for uh, vehicle design. He was actually a major in transport design. He had a choice of going to Detroit and designing uh, real vehicles or coming to Naughty Dog and actually working on Jack X Combat Racing. Fortunately for us, he, he chose Naughty Dog and uh, has just kicked out um, dozens of incredible uh, vehicle designs. What makes Jack X so great is the variations of the tracks and the terrain. We have such incredibly interesting designs. Yasuhara did a lot of the uh, track designs. So some of the locations in the game will be familiar to players of the other Jack games, but the other whole half of the game is in all new locations. Welcome race fans to another turbocharged season of high stakes, high speed racing as the best racers of the world swap paint in their quest to claim the Crass City Grand Championship Trophy. For Jack X, we brought everybody back. Um, everybody that's ever been in the universe that we really, that seems to be uh, characters that people wanted to see again. Susan Eisenberg is back as Ashlyn. What the hell did you do to us? And of course, Mark Irwin came back as Jack. We can do this. We can race. And we can beat Crew at his own game. And Max Casella, who's the voice of Daxter, Jack, next time you invite me to one of your little parties, don't! He's my secret uh, weapon, really. There's an old adage that says, you know, that if you have a scene that's sagging, uh, have somebody run in with a gun. Well, in my case, whenever a scene's really bad, have Daxter get say something, because he always adds so much life to the scene. <laughs> to me, as a game designer, audio is a really incredibly important thing. This game, we've worked with a couple of really awesome artists uh, to create the soundtrack for the game. We have uh, Queens of Stone Age uh, for the for the intro. That's uh, it's really an amazing intro. Most of the game's soundtrack has been made by Mr. Billy Howardell. Fans, of course, will know him from his work with A Perfect Circle. Um, and uh, he's crafted a whole variety of amazing tracks for us. We allow six players to race against each other um, at the same time. You can wear a headset so that you can um, have an open channel and talk to all those people out there. Um, we have a, a lobby which um, is fully featured with clans and buddies. So, you know, we're really trying to make it a very rich online experience. But in addition to that, you have customization of every race. So everything from the wind parameters to the weapons used in the race, the number of track uh, laps, the number of uh, the time limits, the amount of collectibles, these things are all adjustable online with you and your friends. We've gone to great pains to give online players all the tools that we know that they need and love uh, to be able to make their online community experience really great. Um, we've created buddy lists uh, so that you can browse lists of players that you've played against recently and add them to a list of friends. And then when you come online, you can very quickly and easily see which of your buddies are online. We also have clans, which of course, um, a bit like clubs or racing teams that the players can form and invite each other to join. And you've got so many choices, not only in weapons, but in track types and in different types of opponents that you're playing. But this game is actually more about the fast action, intense speed that you would imagine from an arcade racer or a racing sim. I'm really pleased with the reception we've got because uh, people have been saying that while they've seen this style of play in one game before, that style of play in another game, they've never really seen it all together in one game like this. When the going gets tough, Jack will get us out of it. We're just gonna have to win the whole thing. Mm -hmm.